Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uccelli et terra, gloria tua, usana in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini. The Infallible Holy Prophecy of Micah, also known as the Book of Micah of the Word of God. Samaria for her sins shall be destroyed by the Assyrians.
they shall also invade Judah and Jerusalem. The word of the Lord that came to Micaiah the Merestite, in the days of Jodan, Achaz, and Ezekias, kings of Judah, which he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. Hear, all ye people, and let the earth give ear, and all that is therein, and let the Lord God be a witness to you, the Lord from his holy temple. For behold the Lord will come forth out of his place, and he will come down, and will tread upon the high places of the earth. And the mountains shall be melted under him, and the valleys shall be cleft, as wax before the fire, and as waters that run down a steep place. For the wickedness of Jacob is all this, and for the sins of the house of Israel. What is the wickedness of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? And what are the high places of Judah? Are they not Jerusalem? And I will make Samaria as a heap of stones in the field when a vineyard is planted, and I will bring down the stones thereof into the valley, and will lay her foundations bare. And all her graven things shall be cut in pieces, and all her wages shall be burnt with fire, and I will bring to destruction all her idols, for they were gathered together of the hire of a harlot, and unto the hire of a harlot they shall return. Therefore will I lament and howl, I will go stripped and naked, I will make a wailing like the dragons, and a mourning like the ostriches. Because her wound is desperate, because it is come even to Judah, it hath touched the gate of my people even to Jerusalem. Declare ye it not in Geth, weep ye not with tears, in the house of dust sprinkle yourselves with dust. Her wages, that is, her donaries or presents offered to her idols, or the hire of all her traffic and labor. Ibid. Of the hire of a harlot, they were gathered together by one idolatrous city, viz., Samaria, and they shall be carried away to another idolatrous city, viz., Nineveh. It hath touched the gate, that is, the destruction of Samaria shall be followed by the invasion of my people of Judah, and the Assyrians shall come and lay all waste even to the confines of Jerusalem. Declare ye it not in Geth, viz., amongst the Philistines, lest they rejoice at your calamity. Ibid. Weep ye not, keep in your tears, that you may not give your enemies an occasion of insulting over you, but in your own houses, or in your house of dust, your earthly habitation, sprinkle yourselves with dust, and put on the habit of penitence. Some take the house of dust, in Hebrew, Aphra, to be the proper name of a city. And pass away. O thou that dwellest in the beautiful place, covered with thy shame, she went not forth that dwelleth in the confines, the house adjoining shall receive mourning from you, which stood by herself. For she is become weak unto good that dwelleth in bitterness, for evil is come down from the Lord into the gate of Jerusalem. A tumult of chariots hath astonished the inhabitants of liches, it is the beginning of sin to the daughter of Sion, for in thee were found the crimes of Israel. Therefore shall she send messengers to the inheritance of Geth, the houses of Lion to deceive the kings of Israel. Yet will I bring an heir to thee that dwellest in Merazah, even to Odoam shall the glory of Israel come. Thou that dwellest in the beautiful place, viz., in Samaria. In the Hebrew the beautiful place is expressed by the word Sipir, which some take for the proper name of a city. Ibid. She went not forth, that is. They that dwelt in the confines came not forth, but kept themselves within, for fear. Ibid. The house adjoining, viz., Judea and Jerusalem, neighbors to Samaria, and partners in her sins, shall share also in her mourning and calamity, though they have pretended to stand by themselves, trusting in their strength. She is become weak, Jerusalem is become weak unto any good, because she dwells in the bitterness of sin. It is the beginning, that is, Liches was the first city of Judah that learned from Samaria the worship of idols, and communicated it to Jerusalem. Therefore shall she send, Liches shall send to Geth for help, but in vain, for Geth, instead of helping, shall be found to be a house of lying and deceit to Israel. An heir, Mereza, which was the name of a city of Judah, signifies inheritance, but here God by his prophet tells the Jews, that he will bring them an heir to take possession of their inheritance and that the glory of Israel shall be obliged to give place, and to retire even to Odoam, a city in the extremity of their dominions. And therefore he exhorts them to penance in the following verse. Make thee bald, and be pulled for thy delicate children, enlarge thy baldness as the eagle, for they are carried into captivity from thee.
the Israelites by their crying injustices provoke God to punish them. He shall at last restore Jacob. Woe to you that devise that which is unprofitable, and work evil in your beds, in the morning light they execute it, because their hand is against God. And they have coveted fields, and taken them by violence, and houses they have forcibly taken away, and oppressed a man and his house, a man and his inheritance. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I devise an evil against this family, from which you shall not withdraw your necks, and you shall not walk haughtily, for this is a very evil time. In that day a parable shall be taken up upon you, and a song shall be sung with melody by them that say, We are laid waste and spoiled, the portion of my people is changed, how shall he depart from me, whereas he is returning that will divide our land. Therefore thou shalt have none that shall cast the court of a lot in the assembly of the Lord. How shall he depart, how do you pretend to say that the Assyrian is departing, when indeed he is coming to divide our lands amongst his subjects? Thou shalt have none, thou shalt have no longer any lot or inheritance in the land of the people of the Lord. Speak ye not, saying, It shall not drop upon these, confusion shall not take them. The house of Jacob saith, is the spirit of the Lord straitened, or are these his thoughts? Are not my words good to him that walketh uprightly? But my people, on the contrary, are risen up as an enemy, you have taken away the cloak off from the coat, and them that passed harmless you have turned to war. You have cast out the women of my people from their houses, in which they took delight, you have taken my praise forever from their children. Arise ye, and depart, for there is no rest here for you. For that uncleanness of the land, it shall be corrupted with a grievous corruption. It shall not drop, that is, the prophecy shall not come upon these. Such were the sentiments of the people that were unwilling to believe the threats of the prophets. You have taken away, you have even stripped people of their necessary garments, and have treated such as were innocently passing on the way, as if they were at or with you. You have cast out, either by depriving them of their houses, or, by your crimes, give an occasion to their being carried away captives, and their children, by that means, never learning to praise the Lord. Would God I were not a man that hath the Spirit, and that I rather spoke a lie, I will let drop to thee of wine, and of drunkenness, and it shall be this people upon whom it shall drop. I will assemble and gather together all of thee, O Jacob, I will bring together the remnant of Israel, I will put them together as a flock in the fold as the sheep in the midst of the sheep gets, they shall make a tumult by reason of the multitude of men. For he shall go up that shall open the way before them, they shall divide, and pass through the gate, and shall come in by it, and their king shall pass before them, and the Lord at the head of them. Would God, the prophet could have wished, out of his love to his people, that he might be deceived in denouncing to them these evils that were to fall upon them, but by conforming himself to the will of God, he declares to them, that he is sent to prophesy, literally to let drop upon them, the wine of God's indignation, with which they should be made drunk, that is, stupefied and cast down. For the sins of the rich oppressing the poor, of false prophets flattering for lucre, and of judges perverting justice, Jerusalem and the temple shall be destroyed. And I said, Hear, O ye princes of Jacob, and ye chiefs of the house of Israel, is it not your part to know judgment? you that hate good, and love evil, that violently pluck off their skins from them, and their flesh from their bones? Who have eaten the flesh of my people, and have flayed their skin from off them, and have broken, and chopped their bones as for the kettle, and as flesh in the midst of the pot? Then shall they cry to the Lord, and he will not hear them, and he will hide his face from them at that time, as they have behaved wickedly in their devices. Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth, and preach peace, and if a man give not something into their mouth, they prepare war against him. Therefore night shall be to you instead of vision, and darkness to you instead of divination, and the sun shall go down upon the prophets, and the day shall be darkened over them. And they shall be confounded that see visions, and the diviner shall be confounded, and they shall all cover their faces because there is no answer of God. But yet I am filled with the strength of the Spirit of the Lord, with judgment, and power, to declare unto Jacob his wickedness, and to Israel his sin. Hear this, 
ye princes of the house of Jacob, and ye judges of the house of Israel, you that abhor judgment, and pervert all that is right. You that build up Sion with blood, and Jerusalem with iniquity. Her princes have judged for bribes, and her priests have taught for hire, and her prophets divined for money, and they leaned upon the Lord, saying, Is not the Lord in the midst of us? No evil shall come upon us. Therefore, because of you, Sion shall be plowed as a field, and Jerusalem shall be as a heap of stones, and the mountain of the temple as the high places of the forests. The glory of the Church of Christ, by the conversion of the Gentiles. The Jews shall be carried captives to Babylon, and be delivered again. And it shall come to pass in the last days, that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be prepared in the top of mountains, and high above the hills, and people shall flow to it. And many nations shall come in haste, and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, and to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for the law shall go forth out of Sion, and the word of the Lord out of Jerusalem. And he shall judge among many people, and rebuke strong nations afar off, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into spades. Nation shall not take sword against nation neither shall they learn war any more. And every man shall sit under his vine, and under his fig tree, and there shall be none to make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts hath spoken. For all people will walk every one in the name of his God, but we will walk in the name of the Lord our God for ever and ever. Neither shall they learn, the law of Christ is a law of peace, and all his true subjects, as much as lies in them love and keep peace with all the world. In that day, saith the Lord, I will gather up her that halteth, and her that I had cast out, I will gather up, and her whom I had afflicted. And I will make her that halted, a remnant, and her that hath been afflicted, a mighty nation, and the Lord will reign over them in Mount Sion, from this time now and forever. And thou, O cloudy tower of the flock, of the daughter of Sion, unto thee shall it come, Yea the first power shall come, the kingdom to the daughter of Jerusalem. Now, why art thou drawn together with grief? Hast thou no king in thee, or is thy counselor perished, because sorrow hath taken thee as a woman in labor? Be in pain and labor, O daughter of Sion, as a woman that bringeth forth, for now shalt thou go out of the city, and shalt dwell in the country, and shalt come even to Babylon, there thou shalt be delivered. There the Lord will redeem thee out of the hand of thy enemies. And now many nations are gathered together against thee, and they say, Let her be stoned, and let our eye look upon Sion. But they have not known the thoughts of the Lord, and have not understood his counsel, because he hath gathered them together as the hay of the floor. Arise, and tread, O daughter of Sion, for I will make thy horn iron, and thy hoofs I will make brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many peoples and shalt immolate the spoils of them to the Lord, and their strength to the Lord of the whole earth. The birth of Christ in Bethlehem, his reign and spiritual conquests. Now shalt thou be laid waste, O daughter of the robber, they have laid siege against us, with a rod shall they strike the cheek of the judge of Israel. And thou, Bethlehem Ephrata, art a little one among the thousands of Judah, out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be the ruler in Israel and his going forth is from the beginning, from the days of eternity. Therefore will he give them up even till the time wherein she that travaileth shall bring forth, and the remnant of his brethren shall be converted to the children of Israel. And he shall stand, and feed in the strength of the Lord, in the height of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall be converted, for now shall he be magnified even to the ends of the earth. And this man shall be our peace, when the Assyrian shall come into our land. And when he shall set his foot in our houses, and we shall raise against him seven shepherds, and eight principal men. Daughter of the robber, some understand this of Babylon, which robbed and pillaged the temple of God, others understand it of Jerusalem, by reason of the many rapings and oppressions committed there. His going forth, that is, he who as man shall be born in thee, as God was born of his father from all eternity. The Assyrian, that is, the persecutors of the church, who are here called Assyrians by the prophet, because the Assyrians were at that time the chief enemies and persecutors of the people of God. Ibid. Seven shepherds, viz., the pastors of God's church, 
and the defenders of the faith. The number seven in scripture is taken to signify many, and when eight is joined with it, we are to understand that the number will be very great. And they shall feed the land of Assyria with the sword, and the land of Nemrod with the spears thereof, and he shall deliver us from the Assyrian, when he shall come into our land, and when he shall tread in our borders. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many peoples as a dew from the Lord, and as drops upon the grass, which waiteth not for man, nor tarrieth for the children of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many peoples as a lion among the beasts of the forests, and as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who when he shall go through and tread down, and take, there is none to deliver. Thy hand shall be lifted up over thy enemies, and all thy enemies shall be cut off. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that I will take away thy horses out of the midst of thee, and will destroy thy chariots. They shall feed. They shall make spiritual conquests in the lands of their persecutors, with the word of the Spirit, which is the word of God. If the remnant of Jacob, viz., the apostles, and the first preachers of the Jewish nation, whose doctrine, like dew, shall make the plants of the converted Gentiles grow up, without waiting for any man to cultivate them by human learning. As a lion, this denotes the fortitude of these first preachers and their success in their spiritual enterprises. I will take away thy horses, some understand this, and all that follows to the end of the chapter, as addressed to the enemies of the church. But it may as well be understood of the converts to the church, who should no longer put their trust in any of these things. And I will destroy the cities of thy land, and will throw down all thy strongholds, and I will take away sorceries out of thy hand, and there shall be no divinations in thee. And I will destroy thy graven things, and thy statues out of the midst of thee, and thou shalt no more adore the works of thy hands. And I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee, and will crush thy cities. And I will execute vengeance and wrath and an indignation among all the nations that have not given ear. God expostulates with the Jews for their ingratitude and sins, for which they shall be punished. Hear ye what the Lord saith, Arise. Contend thou in judgment against the mountains, and let the hills hear thy voice. Let the mountains hear the judgment of the Lord, and the strong foundations of the earth, for the Lord will enter into judgment with his people, and he will plead against Israel. O my people, what have I done to thee, or in what have I molested thee? Answer thou me. For I brought thee up out of the land of Egypt, and delivered thee out of the house of slaves, and I sent before thy face Moses, and Aaron and Mary. O my people, remember, I pray thee, what Balach the king of Moab purposed, and what Balaam the son of Baal answered him, from Setim to Galgal, that thou mightest know the justices of the Lord. The mountains, that is, the great ones, the princes of the people. From Setim to Galgal, he puts them in mind of the favor he did them, in not suffering them to be quite destroyed by the evil purpose of Balach, and the wicked counsel of Balaam and then gives them a hint of the wonders he wrought, in order to bring them into the land of promise, by stopping the course of the Jordan, in their march from Zedim to Gugal. What shall I offer to the Lord that is worthy? Wherewith shall I kneel before the high God? Shall I offer holocausts unto him, and calves of a year old? May the Lord be appeased with thousands of rams, or with many thousands of fatty goats? Shall I give my firstborn for my wickedness? the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? I will show thee, O man, what is good, and what the Lord requireth of thee, verily, to do judgment, and to love mercy, and to walk solicitous with thy God. The voice of the Lord crieth to the city, and salvation shall be to them that fear thy name, hear, O ye tribes, and who shall approve it. As yet there is a fire in the house of the wicked, the treasures of iniquity, and a scant measure full of wrath. What shall I offer, this is spoken in the person of the people, desiring to be informed what they are to do to please God. Full of wrath, that is, highly provoking in the sight of God. Shall I justify wicked balances, and the deceitful weights of the bag? By which her rich men were filled with iniquity, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, and their tongue was deceitful in their mouth. And I therefore began to strike thee with desolation for thy sins. Thou shalt eat, but shalt not be filled, 
and thy humiliation shall be in the midst of thee, and thou shalt take hold, but shalt not save, and those whom thou shalt save, I will give up to the sword. Thou shalt sow, but shalt not reap, thou shalt tread the olives, but shalt not be anointed with the oil, and the new wine, but shalt not drink the wine. For thou hast kept the statutes of Amri, and all the works of the house of Achab, and thou hast walked according to their wills, that I should make thee a desolation, and the inhabitants thereof a hissing, and you shall bear the reproach of my people. The statutes of Amri, the wicked ways of Amri and Achab, idolatrous kings. The prophet laments, that notwithstanding all his preaching, the generality are still corrupt in their manners, therefore their desolation is at hand, but they shall be restored again and prosper, and all mankind shall be redeemed by Christ. Woe is me, for I am become as one that gleaneth in autumn the grapes of the vintage, there is no cluster to eat, my soul desire the first ripe figs. The holy man is perished out of the earth and there is none upright among men, they all lie in wait for blood, every one hunteth his brother to death. The evil of their hands they call good, the prince requireth, and the judge is forgiving, and the great man hath uttered the desire of his soul, and they have troubled it. He that is best among them, is as a briar, and he that is righteous, as the thorn of the hedge. The day of thy inspection, thy visitation cometh, now shall be their destruction. Believe not a friend, and trust not in a prince, keep the doors of thy mouth from her that sleepeth in thy bosom. For the son dishonoureth the father, and the daughter riseth up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's enemies are they of his own household. But I will look towards the Lord, I will wait for God my Saviour, my God will hear me. Rejoice not, thou, my enemy, over me, because I am fallen, I shall arise, when I sit in darkness the Lord is my light. I will bear the wrath of the Lord, because I have sinned against him, until he judge my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth into the light, I shall behold his justice. And my enemy shall behold, and she shall be covered with shame, who saith to me, Where is the Lord thy God? My eyes shall look down upon her, now shall she be trodden underfoot as the mire of the streets. She shall be covered, viz, Babylon my enemy. The day shall come, that thy walls may be built up, in that day shall the law be far removed. In that day they shall come even from Assyria to thee, into the fortified cities, and from the fortified cities even to the river, and from sea to sea, and from mountain to mountain. And the land shall be made desolate, because of the inhabitants thereof, and for the fruit of their devices. Fee thy people with the eye rod, the flock of thy inheritance, them that dwell alone in the forest in the midst of Carmel, they shall feed in Basin and Galad according to the days of old. According to the days of thy coming out of the land of Egypt I will show him wonders. The law, viz, of thy enemies, who have tyrannized over thee. The land, viz, of Babylon. The nations shall see, and shall be confounded at all of their strength, they shall put the hand upon the mouth, their ears shall be deaf. They shall lick the dust like serpents, as the creeping things of the earth, they shall be disturbed in their houses, they shall dread the Lord our God, and shall fear thee. Who is a God like to thee, who takest away iniquity, and passest by the sin of the remnant of thy inheritance? He will send his fury in no more, because he delighteth in mercy. He will turn again, and have mercy on us, he will put away our iniquities, and he will cast all our sins into the bottom of the sea. Thou wilt perform the truth of Jacob, the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast sworn to our fathers from the days of old.